Hi, my name is Dr. Nabil Faruqi, and I'm a practicing allergist immunologist with Allergy Partners in Indianapolis. I'm also a fellow of the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology. Today, we're going to be talking about the differences between rhinitis, sinusitis, and chronic sinusitis. So these are complaints which we often see patients for who come to seek care from us. Um, and these terms are interrelated but distinct entities and there's often a little bit of confusion between them. So rhinitis quite simply means inflammation in the nose. So rhinitis can be further divided up into allergic rhinitis or non-allergic rhinitis. As far as allergic rhinitis is uh, concerned, we see various triggers which may lead to this condition such as allergies to dust mites, animal danders, or pollens. As far as non-allergic rhinitis, patients may suffer from viral or bacterial infections, or they may have different changes within the vasculature inside the lining of the nose. Now, when this inflammation or infection starts to extend into the paranasal sinuses, patients can develop acute sinusitis. The majority of cases of acute sinusitis are due to viruses. Uh, patients will start to uh, uh, present with symptoms of nasal congestion, post-nasal drainage, or pain. So it's important to remember that the presence of these symptoms of, uh, in and of themselves are not able to distinguish between a viral infection and a bacterial infection. And the great majority of these infections are viral in nature, especially in the beginning phases. So antibiotics typically are not very useful in their management. Now, sometimes patients may start to get better and then worsen after about a week to 10 days and start to develop a second phase of these symptoms. And when those develop, then uh, we start thinking about possible bacterial secondary um, uh, uh, complications of the initial viral infections, in which case antibiotics may be useful. The third entity we're going to be talking about today is chronic rhinosinusitis. So chronic rhinosinusitis, like the name implies, is a condition which has been lasting for a long time and we typically see at least 12 weeks. And this is a very complex condition which um, is characterized by a lot of inflammation and um, infectious microbiome within the uh, uh, paranasal sinus cavities and inside the nose itself. Um, and because it's a multifaceted condition, there are various aspects to actually manage this condition, um, such as intranasal steroids, saline washes or nasal lavages, um, and so in some ca certain cases, um, surgical intervention is needed, uh, especially if uh, patients start to develop nasal polyps. Um, these are typically, for all three of these conditions, it, it's, it's a good idea to go seek out care from an allergist so that they can start to help in differentiating which condition someone actually suffers from. They can offer allergy testing and then discuss various management options for each of these conditions. For more information, please visit our website for the Quad AI. Thank you very much.